first quarter of the 1986 VFL Grand Final. It's between Carlton and Hawthorne. Hawthorne kicking to the right. A bad bounce. Dia gets first touch, but it's going Carlton's way. Blue ball to half forward, but the Bradley Medalist gets the first kick of the game. Back to centre wing. Dorotich and Brereton tangle. English. Curran. Platten. Platten at centre field. Lovely ball to get around Madden. The two number 44s. Dunstall leads out. Just a little bit too far from Duel. And the flying doormat sees the ball and his opponent safely over the boundary line. We'll put it out by Bradley. Almost a mark to Wallace. Lankford went through very solidly. Picked up by Wallace for Hawthorne. Bacanara. He'll be very keen to do well today because we remember... Why wasn't that a mark, Bob? Well, it was just about a mark. I noticed that uh, Blackwell's down behind the uh, play, but he's OK. We watch on replay and we we'll see just how Blackwell went down. As Storitich. No, it wasn't the Blackwell. That's at the internet. Brereton. Into the goal square, Dunstall! And Dunstall has a chance to bring up the first score of the game. It's a swirly win, so perhaps the kick not as easy as it might look from here. Crowd behind the goal like it, they're all Hawthorne supporters. Hawthorne get off to a very good start. One goal at the 1 minute 50 mark at the first quarter. An excellent mark by Jason Dunstall, and after playing so poorly against Bruce Duell two weeks ago, um, well, you couldn't ask for any more. There's a chance for Deep Yet, Manico bounced the wrong way. Going, oh, Evans was grabbed, didn't have the ball, but the umpire called play on, tapped on by Langford, goes across to Evans, driven back by Wallace, punched out again by uh, Dean, the ball comes back towards Little Loveridge, and Loveridge boots the ball over the half-forward line, coming out now, oh, Harms has got it. What right on the 50 metre defence line? A fire calling play on, he's a bit confused. Over to Inglis. Inglis gets the ball out wide. There's a go for Meldrum, he's got it. And Tuck was late on the scene, could be a 15 metre penalty. No, the umpire didn't play that. The kick by Meldrum didn't cover a great distance. Kerner had it, and he marked that, but the uh, umpire's not giving any charity. There's Johnson streaming away from the pack. Going for the goals, this looks good, it might be through. No, was touched right on the line. And it's one point, so Carlton rebounding very quickly. Hand pass coming back now to Wallace. Wallace and everything over to Weed. Oh, well, that should be a free kick uh, to uh, Curran. The umpire's going to play a bit of a box on between Ayers and uh, Reese Jones. Well, Reed, the, the umpire's already out. getting the book out. It looks as though Reese Jones could be uh, He's booked. Gone. And by a boundary umpire. What a sensation. Oh, Cameron, Cameron, Cameron. Though. I think the boundary umpire came over too to have something to say, Pete. Let's see what happened there. Here's and Reese Jones in a tangle. Well, I don't know if that's a reportable offence, is it? Could you? Well, they're certainly not giving Reese Jones the latitude he had in the second semi final. Ayers is not leaving his side. No, they're not going to let a player run around and do the damage that he did in that game. Yes, he was best on the ground. I think most of us would agree there. Four Carlton players. Tommy Alvin is the one to get there first. Alvin's kick over the heads of a lot of players down there. It bounces Carlton's way from McClure. The opposite uh, captain is Michael Tuck. Dippy Domenico starting well for Hawthorne at left centre wing. The air, couldn't take it. Clatton. Oh, grab, surely. Three cable him like a rash. 15 metres, it should be. Not being paid. Well, he, gra he grabbed him once. Oh, look at him go in the air that time. I was going to say earlier, he'll be very keen to do well today because he was injured in the opening minutes of the 83 grand final, which Hawthorne won. Hit the post, so one point. Hawthorne lead by six points. Duel. And of course, Bruce Duell playing his last game. The back is Hunter, got the tap down, kicked off the ground that time by E. Coming in to meet it now is Reese Jones, a heavily tagged that time by Ayers, but he's clear now, the tag. Over it goes to Harms, a long shot at goal. And look at this kick, it travels plenty of distance, but unfortunately for Carlton, it's off target, and it goes through for one point. The 1986 grand final in front of a capacity crowd here today, over the 100,000 mark. Oh, they all fly, no one takes them up. There's a... Uh, Green getting it out for DP in a minute ago. A good tackle by Alvin. Umpire called playoff. Giving plenty of latitude today. Grand final. Ayers gets it over to Curran. A long kick up there towards Dunstall and Duell. Dunstall got his hands to it. In comes Doral. He kicks it off the ground. Not a good one. Backs up well. The hand pass is bad. Back it comes now to Brown. A stubborn goal. But he's off target. And it's through for one point. 
So Hawthorne doing most of the attacking, but uh, they've missed a couple of easy ones down there. Dippy will take the free kick, uh, shorter centre-half back. Short pass, Langford fumble, but we covered OK. Kernahan right on his toe. Oh, Kernahan copped the heavy one from Deer, yeah, and the umpire play. spotted it. Really? He's going to take the book out, I would say, and report him. Well, so he should, because he reported Reese Jones. Fair's fair. You, let's watch it again, Bob. You watch on replay. That's yes, an elbow, isn't it? See for yourself when your side's got the ball. Come in and ship it, but don't give it away. That's right. That's why it was foolish. Bad kick. That wasn't a particularly good pass. Meldrum gets clear of Schwab and a long shot at goal. Goal. Carlton first. So that free kick proving pretty costly for Hawthorne. One two scores level. McClure goes up high with Langford. Ball booted out by Abbott. Green. Into ears at centre field. He is covering a lot of territory today. Not a good kick. Brereton in front of Dorotich will look for a hand pass to Platten. Originally intended, I think, but Curran's there. Backs up well. He's got a goal. It's through. Also hit back. 2-2 two, two to 1-2. One, two. Claudine plays up. Hawthorne lead by six points now at the 12-minute mark of the first quarter. And that was Curran's first goal. Knocked down by Madden. Gets it well down to Blackwell. Blackwell with Dippy Domenico in pursuit. On to Alvin. Alvin inside the 50-metre line. There's the quick reply. Hit, Hit the, the post. post. Oh, close to reach. Well, that even that score, and the difference is five points. Well, they certainly bounced back quickly, Carl. That was brilliant play on the part of Blackwell and uh, Alvin. But uh, the game after a kind of a slow start as far as the tempers are concerned, Bob, it's starting to hot up a bit now. I think they've uh, really started to realise that it is a grand final. Di Pietro Menico scouting out brilliantly, drives the ball back to centre-half forward. At the back is Buccaneer, he's claiming that mark, and rightly no, so the no mark. No mark, the umpire set play on, kicked off the ground by Harbs over to Rez, doing a great job on Reese Jones, tapped on by Dantzel. Beautiful play, and this will be a goal. How did about that? A goal to Brewer. That was magnificent play on the part of Dunstall. Great play. Really shook him up that last bump. I thought it might have been a free kick. The ball comes down there towards Russo, fumbles the ball. Picked up by Abbott. Abbott gets a hurried kick back towards Brown. Hits the deck. There's a go for Curran. A slick hand pass over to Platt. Walks beautifully. Nearly got one up from Dean, but he's clear. Short pass, and Curran's got it. Curran backing up beautifully. Goes for the pass. It'll be OK. And Buckingham, a top one for Buckley. 15 metres, is it? No. I don't think so. I don't think Buckley can do anything else that time. And Gary Buckingham has the chance to bring up his first goal in the VFL Grand Final. There he is from about... Oh, that's what it is, a goal. So Hawthorne at the 15-minute mark of this first quarter of the Grand Final of 1986. Madden from back pocket. Kernahan has it knocked away from him. Actually, that was almost a mark. Reese jones spins out beautifully. Alvin, right centre wing. Short pass, Hunter marks in front of Mew. Johnson runs into Mew. Caught holding the ball. Blackwell there, of course, who was a bit stunned, but he seems to be okay now. That's Diaz kick, a very high one. Doesn't uh, that was Abbott, I should say, not a very high I don't know, covered much distance. Di Pietro Menico over to Ayres, the man of the moment, as it goes over the half forward line, punched out by Dill as it goes for Bacanara. Kicks it off the ground, it's going close, it'll bounce in for a goal. Hall looks the fortune, that's his second. And no wonder, he's, no wonder he's happy about that, Bob, because it did do a off break to bounce through for a goal. No, uh, well, off break, Lou, I'm sorry, is that right? That's an off break, it'll depend on uh, what hand you're batting with, Bob. Play on call, Meldrum, right on the boundary line, Reese Jones. As I said, Hawthorne's tackling pretty good at the moment. Mark McClure, Carton captain. McClure at left centre wing. Meldrum runs into trouble. Holding the ball. On the shoulder, Pete. Uh, Dorotich has done a good job there so far. Robertson to English. Probably one of Carton's best English. Bradley, plenty of room to move at right half forward flank. Abbott won't catch him. Bradley should be able to score. Out of bounds. Boundary throw in. Carton. 15 metre penalty there to Motley, the ball goes back now towards Kernahan and Langford, they both Smith and down goes Hunter, he's covered by Wallace, 
can't get clear it's holding the ball against him that's a good decision too because he had it smothered so Cowan out there on the centre wing position and Hawthorne 5-5 five, five to Carlton one goal five the Blues not looking too hot oh great mark to Brereton what a beauty between two of them then and Brereton right there on the 50 metre attacking line goes for a pass it's okay and it's found Dunstan who's already kicked one goal on to it as Dunstan comes in for goal number two it's not a bad sort of a kick either but one make the distance they all fly as they go through Bacanara flies at the goal but it's through for one point so Hall's clear at the 50 metre defence line around Russell Green Alvin at the square Alvin downfield the left half forward good mark to McClure gave Abbott the nudge on to Robertson Robertson's pass is a shocker and there's the siren for the end of the first quarter Second quarter of the 1986 VFL Grand Final. Hawthorne leading by 25 points, but there's a long way to go yet. All up again. We're just over the four-minute mark, or approaching the four-and-a-half-minute mark of this second quarter. Madden getting a lot of hit out, but not directing them well. Hawthorne ball again in the forward pocket. Green onto his left foot. Duel in front of Dunstall. Dunstall gets in front of him, and how did he do that? Snapshot is a goal! Oh, what a ripper! He got the round Bruce Duel, which is not easy to do, and Dunstall brings up his second goal, 6-6-42 to 1-5-11. It's a glorious goal by Jason Dunstall, and we watch it again on replay. Russell Green leading to the ball, hooks it, and very awkward bounce, and you must attack the ball, and that's exactly what Dunstall did, and then a glorious snap over the shoulder. Short pass, Hunter, no. Good play by Abbott, Langford. Langford and left back pocket. He looked for a pass, either by foot or hand. He's gone with the foot. Curran takes the mark. Back to that same player. Langford, Wallace, running at left centre wing. On Reed, one of the veterans on the Hawthorne side. Not a good pass, but it does find Brereton. Back to Reed. Have to get rid of this quickly. Puts the Buccanara. Buccanara marks and plays on. 50 metres out. He'll just about kick this. It's long. It's just about. Hawthorne, 7-6-48 to 1-5-11. Well, Bob Galt's in plenty of trouble now. Uh, I know it's early days, but it's going to take a lot of catching up this lead. Back it comes to Bradley. I think that's about his third touch for the match. Up goes Blackwood, couldn't hold the mark. They, they're really tackling Hawthorne. They won't let him get cleared. And we see McClellan going for a long kick, and there's no one there. But Galt gets off target, and goes through for one point got no one up there on the forward line and of course when you're desperate you go right up the ground chasing kick ball or back out wide to the uh, back pocket this fellow's played a fantastic game is certainly put here uh, Reese Jones out of business in the first quarter he started off well in the second the dippers on him now ball back there they fly Dean couldn't hold it picked up by McClure and the veteran drives it down towards Hunter and New having a great battle knocked out over it goes for grass going to be the goal that isn't by Gilly did they need that one an excellent goal there by David Glasgow. He rode that beautifully. Coming straight down the ground. Funny old bounce. Who's it going to favour? Tommy Elvin. Elvin puts Carlton into attack up towards right half forward. Mew and Hunter. Mew should have taken that. Langford, Short, McClure and Hunter. They can rattle it. Four Carlton players are there. Hunter finally clear. It's a goal. If it's long enough, tuck on the line. A mark, yes, it's been a lot. A great save by the... Uh... Hawthorne captain, one on the line that time. 32 points the difference in favour of Hawthorne. Into the second quarter by 13 and a half minutes. Comes Reese Jones, who's got a chance to score a goal here. A long shot, and look at this one go. It's a goal, a beauty by Reese Jones. Yeah. Hawthorne's tackling has been excellent, Lou. They haven't allowed the captain to get clear and break up the play at all. Current and Madden. Out to Reed. High kick. Over the top is Alvin. And that is a trip, is it not to English? No. Not seen by the umpire. Back on Ara for goal number four. He's got it, I think. Or wait on the umpire. It's a goal. Well, the scoreboard. 8-6 to 3-6. 56 to 24. It did look a trip as we watch Alvin punch the ball away. Grab him on the leg from mine, Bob. Uh -huh. After seeing the replay, I even think it was more of a trip. Black were looking OK after that heavy knock he got in the first quarter. Hunter. That was a strong mark. It takes a bit of doing, Bob, going after those run. Chance for his first goal and Carlton's fourth. It's coming around, but not enough. That's his third possession, incidentally, Pete. Uh, 
Murphy cropping short. Harms takes it, now chance for a Carlton score. And Harms is an excellent kick. Still over 50 metres out, and he's gone long, he's had a real go at it. Looking for Kernahan or Hunter at the back. The Hawthorne player might have put that through. One point. He's had him well covered, Hunter's only had three possessed. Now he's cleared, got a chance to mark, he does. Short pass, dangerous, but it'll be okay. And the mark taken down there by Glasgow. Let's we'll see what happens with it. Oh, he's missed it. They should kick him, Bob, but they don't. That's right, 27 plays, 56. And now Hawthorne have got good players all over the ground. Of course, their tackling has been superb here today, and they've put Carlton under pressure right throughout the match. for 50 metres out, but once again the Blues are on target and it's through for another point. The oh, they're definitely it. steady, they're playing better football at the moment. Their attack doesn't look too good to me, Bob, just the same. No, they're, they're struggling to kick goals, but around the ground, Lou, they only need a, a quick goal and they get a lot of confidence. Clatton loses out to Matten, who in turn has it knocked from him, but it's picked up by Melbourne, and that's a goal. Melbourne's second goal, and Carlton are coming back, as Bob Stilton indicated a moment ago, 14-34 to 8-8-56. Here's got one in the back, picked up by Tuck, good tackle, just about caught with the ball. Dippy Domenico and Alden, Dorotic and Burton. Dorotic straight from the wing. Carlton fans finding voice, Hunter over the top, no, Mew in front. Great mark by Mew. Tension right on now. Hawthorne have to defend desperately. Hunter, Kernahan, Mew, Abbott. Still a short kick. English well, gives it almost to Peter Cameron. Melbourne has been a good player. Gets clear, does he? Yes. Well blocked by English. He shoots. And Mark one right on the line by Terry Watts. Punched away by Reese Jones. Not a bad one. A clue over it goes to Harms. He's in trouble. He gets the ball back to Glasgow. Kicks it back. And Kernahan's got it from 50 that time was Rodney Ead, the umpire bringing him back. Now Kernahan could kick this distance, so we see Hunter making a lead there, but that's ignored, that's Siren. There's the Siren, there's the kick on its way, it won't make the distance. And that's the Third quarter of the 86 grand final between Hawthorne and Carlton. Hawthorne leading by 21 points, but Carlton outscored them in the second quarter. Good smother, or attempted smother by Russo, sees the ball into the arms of uh, Loveridge, up the half forward. Dorotic taps it further forward for Bradley. Oh, beautiful intercept for Mead, and then he kicks it off the ground into the goal square. Dunstall gets there. Here's the one that Hawthorne needs to be good at two, and he has. Great play by Rodney Ead, and that brings up Hawthorne's ninth goal, 9 8 62 to 4 11 35. Well, that's the one they wanted, Bob Hawthorne. So the difference now, uh, what, 27 points, Pete, is it? Yes, Luke. That's a good start for Car uh, for Hawthorne. Knocked out by Matten over to Ayres. Ayres gets the ball back to Buccaneer. He's a dangerous player down there. He's already kicked four goals. The big in game today, this fellow. West ex West Australia. Getting a short pass there to, uh, to Brereton, who uh, is in a better position, but about the same distance out. And that was a very vital goal uh, kicked by uh, Hawthorne. Within two minutes of the start of this third quarter, there's the kick on its way, and look at this one go, and what a goal! Well, that's making it a little tough for Carlton now. So it's 10 goals, 8.68 Hawthorne, Carlton, and 4 goals, 11.35. English has his kick smothered on this occasion, there was a fresh air shot. Alvin doesn't get a good bounce, Russell off the ground. Oh, good tackle on uh, Motley. Intercepts well, we'll get clear of D, uh, Green over the head of Evans. We should be able to get clear of uh, Greg Deer. Oh, good tackle by the big fellow. That was well done. I'm sure Jeans would be very happy with that. Yeah. that was a great tackle. Carlton Excellent. getting very frustrated too. That's not a good sign. And Evans won most of them today. Bradley. Albert, oh, look at Dipper's eye. It's uh, bleeding profusely, the right one, I think. Might be able to get a shot in a minute. And a good mark taken by Langford. I think that 
Not that he got early in the game, stunned him, but he's been out of uh, hasn't been in the picture very much. Over it goes now. The basket showing pace. He's grabbed. Oh, they're tackling beautiful. That was a good one by Loveridge. And Swab's hurt. He's got one on the knee, but he got it out to Loveridge. Okay, out it comes to Ayres. Madden with Deer. Hit Madden on the head, Lovridge grabbed well by Meldrum. Schwab dives on top of it for Hawthorne. Good soccer tactics by Meldrum, gets clear. Ayers has got him, has he? Holding the ball, dropping the ball, no. Good uh, tackle by Hawthorne. Ede caught the ripper. Advantage rule played. Lovridge plays on because umpire Cameron had played a free kick. Dunstall in. Oh, yes, well spoken. Good talking by the Hawks, Luke. Well, actually, Dill stopped there from it. I don't know why. It was Dill's 359th league game. Dunstall's kick is off target, or is it coming around? It might be a goal! It's a goal! Jason Dunstall's third. Fourth lead, fourth lead. The centre wing position, the hand pass to Johnson. And they get the ball over their half forward line. Coming out now is Hunterman. Good play on the part of you. Knocked it out. Burley Evans cops one from Russell. Couldn't get clear. Out to Melbourne. They're smothered. They can't uh, get out of these packs of garden. They've got no hope. Russell got one in the face. But the umpire will ball it up. Deer with Madden. Madden to Harms. Will knock back to Schwab. And has his kick partly smothered. It's into the centre field, centre field area. Knocked down by Ayres. He might be able to pick it up himself. Good tap on. Onto Russo. Boots the ball quickly. It's a play on call. Won't be a mark because it was touched. Good umpiring. Current. Over to Ayres. Ayres goes long. Dorotic in front. Brereton can't get clear. Well played, Dorotic. Out comes Dunstall with a snapshot. Might be through. It's a goal. Five goals for Jason Dunstall. And Hawthorne's 12th, 12, 12 8, 80 before 12, 36. Well, Carlton are desperate now. Harms on the ball. Madden knocks it down. Picked up by Russo. Wild hand pass over the head of the umpire. Racing forward is Schwab to get it away from Melbourne. Harms on the ball, as Bob mentioned. Long up towards full forward. Looking for Hunter, but it's out of bounds. And we'll check on the boundary umpire. It's on the floor. Hawthorne free kick. Well, this fellow's had a bad day today because Mew's had him well covered to Hunter. And then put the Carlton Stars out of business. The real finals football. This goes to show you go about your merry way. Carlton played a fortune for their play, but Hawthorne still played it away. And uh, you see Melbourne take a mark from about 45 metres out. We wait now for Melbourne from about 45 metres out. And that might be all right. It's a goal. And that's the first for the quarter for Carlton. That's Melbourne's uh, third goal. So a trace from uh, Wallace, but he's clear. Looking for a pass to Alvin. Tips it all. Harms got one on the top of the head. The umpire didn't worry about that. Now he'll pay a free kick and listen to the crowd go mad when Hawthorne get this one. Quite hard all day. He's been, I think he's just about been their best player with uh, Tommy Alvin. And of course Madden's done excellent work in the ruck. Dippy to Medico to Platten. He'll have to kick this quickly. From the boundary line. Rhys Jones, well played. It hits it straight to Current, who gets dispossessed very quickly. Meldrum, good tackle on him by Dunstall. Ball booted up to Ayres, and Ayres takes the mark at half forward, decides to play on from the 50 metre line. He gets flattened. It might be a goal, or he'll get another kick. I think he's goal. Goal umpire checking with the field umpire. And it is a goal. So Gary Ayres putting through his first goal. He doesn't kick many. And Deep Pierre Domenico coming up to the ground too. He doesn't want to. No, he won't come up. He's still on there. Loveridge got the ball now. Hawthorne, the more desperate side, up towards Dunstall. Punched away by Dill. Bacanara comes in, taps it over now to Russo. A running shot at goal, and that's good. Well, they're really killing him now, the Hawks. And are they looking good? And are they happy? And so they should be. They've played superb football, didn't they? So bounce, and at 20 yards, or 20 metres, from the Carlton goal. Knocked down to Evans, a snapshot at goal. It's through! That's what they needed. The Carlton still fighting, and the Blues bring up their sixth goal. 6-13-49 to 14-8-92. 43 points in favour of Hawthorne. Madden and Deer, one by Madden, picked up by Harm, but the ball was knocked out of his hands pretty quickly. Curran and Russo combined well for Hawthorne. Russo's kick up the Bacanara. Has he got the mark? No. Dunstall grabbed by Motley. Bacanara, or thrown out the Platten. Platten has a right foot snapshot. Underneath it is Brereton. 
Good play by Dorothy. Burton recovers the quicker and goes! Well, I thought it was out of bounds. I thought Dorothy had done a good job. Burton's third, 15 8, 98 to 6 13, 49. But Dorothy stopped Burton played on that foul of being a star footballer, Bob. And by Dean and a bit of trouble trying to get clear. Finally, does goes for a short pass looking for Melbourne, but Tuck's got him pretty well covered. Goes for a tap up, but it beats him in the ball. Free kick, holding the man. Melbourne doesn't realise it. No, Melbourne didn't think it was a free kick, but he's got one. And there's the sound of win the third quarter. And Hawthorne in a very good position for this 1986 Grand Final. Start of the final quarter of the 1986 VFL Grand Final from the MCG. Hawthorne leading by 50 points. Kernahan at Abbott. It's a wrestle. Blackwell grab. Did he have it? Umpire Peter Cameron says holding the ball. Oh, that's murder. I'll say it is by Wayne Harms, good tackle by Russell Green, Bacanara just about uh, gets him, but a good mark taken from the McKenzie, is it? 15 metre penalty, Pete. Well, they'll bring him well within kicking distance, he's only about 30 metres out, and directly in front of goal. He's done. Which he has done. So McKenzie putting through his first for the day, it's Carlton 7-7. Seven, seven. I don't think he's done too much wrong today. Coming in is Bradley. Been off the ground for about half the match, but at least got him covered like he did in that first half. It'll be hard. Oh, 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 oh. What do you think about that? Oh. It's a 15 metre penalty. This gives Bradley a chance to send them deep into attack, and over it goes now to Melbourne. He's in well tackled by Tuck. That was a magnificent tackle by the Hawthorne vice captain. Back it comes to Glasgow. Glasgow gets to his feet, boots the ball up there towards the full forward position. Tapped on by Kerner and over to McClure. McClure is clear, clear, gets a hurried kick down there towards the full forward position. Blackwell goes in. Wallace has got him covered over the top of him and the umpire said hold the ball again. They couldn't work that out because he had no hope in the world of getting rid of that. One all. One all. <laughs> well, well look good. at Blackwell going mad about it. Carlton are not doing enough to look as though they can bridge the gap. As Dean almost took a good mark. Going after it now is English. He actually threw that over to Dean, but the umpire gave him plenty of uh, leniency there, and it's out of bounds. The crowd are feeling for a deliberate throw out, but the crowd not having, umpire not having a bar of it. It's about 50 metres out from goal. There's the kick. McClure at the back. Kernahan's there too, and he's grabbed the mark. And he's well within kicking distance. Oh, Bradley's had a bad day, and this fellow hasn't been too hot either. Kernahan. There's the kick, and that's uh, his first goal for the match, and Carlton is on. I think the lack of enthusiasm shown by Carlton players, uh, even though Kernahan kicked the goal, indicates uh, just how demoralised they really are. Well, first with four goals, Melbourne's had the better of Tuck today. Look at that kick. McKenzie. Well shepherded onto McClure, onto Evans. Evans can't get clear, now he can, but it's out of bounds on the floor. Shocker! And it will be a free kick to Hawthorne in the left back pocket to be taken. Back it comes from Glasgow over there to Robertson. Robertson's kick is a short one. Punched away again there by Abbott. Over it goes to Hunter, back to Kernahan. They're coming into the game too late. Kernahan going for a run, having a running shot at goal. You're upset there, the kick is on its way. We we'll wait on the result. It's a goal to count. 26 and a half minutes to be gone. 36 points the difference, Pete, as we approach the 27 and a half minute mark, but it's all over by the Shelley, Pete for Hawthorne. Good pack of players, knocked down to Russell, who's played an excellent game today. Brereton and Dorotich, they've had a great duel. Through goes Bacanara, offloaded by Dorotich. Brereton, can Hawthorne score that elusive goal in the final quarter at the Dunstan? He's kicked five around duel. Great tackle by Duel, but Dunstall brushes it aside. This might be the one that they needed. And finally, they break the ice in the last quarter. Six goals to Jason Dunstall. He's played a fine game. 16-14, 110 to 9-14, 68. The siren about to go. There's a mob of players and officials on the boundary line, but back to the centre, 68 to 110. Knocked down by Deer on this occasion. There's the siren. And Hawthorne of premiums in 1986. The Hawks winning their sixth VFL flag, defeating Carlton, the scoreboard 16-14, 110 to 9-14, 68.